Hi there, Tigard United Methodist Church. Usually in September, we're excited to get back to those activities that we love so much. Whether it's sanctuary choir or youth group, messy church and children's activities or, or other small groups, usually in September, we're, we're shaking off that summer slumber and we're gearing up for the fall and returning to those activities that are meaningful to us and that we love so much. This September will be different. To be honest with you, I'm a bit discouraged about where we find ourselves in the pandemic right now. I imagine many of you feel the same way. It's been so long since we've been able to do those things all together in person that are important to us as a church. It can be hard to persevere, but let's remember we have, for over a year and a half, we have found our way through all of this together. Our church will reopen in the coming weeks and months, but we want to do it in a way that is safe because we value doing no harm, and we want to do our part to reopen in a way that is safe not only for the people of our church, but for the community around us, so we can do our part to help get through to the other side of this pandemic. Well, even if you're feeling discouraged and disconnected from our church, or maybe especially if you're feeling this way, I want to encourage you to stay connected to our church, or maybe to reconnect with our church as we head into the fall. That can be as simple as taking a few minutes each week to read those emails that come out from our, our church, or periodically checking the church Facebook page so you're aware of the most recent reopening information and, and other things that are happening through the church. Or, or maybe it's picking up the phone and, and giving a call to a church friend or, or sending a quick text message to a church friend just to say, hi, how are you doing? Would you like to talk? I especially would like to invite you to join us for in-person worship at our church when we are able to resume in-person worship. We have a plan for, for worshiping in person that we think is a very safe plan and will allow us to, to be together uh, for worship in person. But if you're not comfortable joining us for in-person worship, or at least not when we first begin to resume in-person worship, I encourage you, I encourage all of you, to watch our worship live stream. You can watch it on Sunday mornings at, at 10 at our YouTube channel, but you can also watch the recording of it later that day or, or later that following week. You might even just have it on your smartphone and, and listen to it as you prepare a meal or, or go out for a walk. Now, worship is that activity of our church that, that deeply grounds us in God's grace. It's an activity that, that connects us as a community in, of faith. And so I invite you to to join us for in-person worship if you're comfortable doing so, but to also watch our live stream so you can be connected to the worship life of our congregation. I'll be starting a new worship series on Sunday, September 12th, called Take Up Your Cross, Lessons on Following Jesus from the Gospel of Mark. There are some great stories in Mark that challenge us to live as faithful followers of Jesus and in a world that feels so chaotic and unsettled, being clear about how it is we can faithfully follow Jesus, that helps us find our way through all of it. As a part of that worship series, I have a couple of requests for you. First, if you have a cross, maybe hanging on your wall or sitting on a desk or a cross that you wear around your neck, if you have a cross that's meaningful to you in some way, take a quick picture of it and email it to me or text it to me. And tell me just a little bit about why that cross is meaningful to you. This is one of the crosses that I'll be sharing with our congregation during that series. It's a little cross that I got in Honduras in Central America many years ago. I'll be sharing the pictures of your crosses that you send to me with our whole church on Sunday mornings as a part of that worship series. Uh, the second request is for you to carry with you a cross 
throughout that five-week worship series. Now, I don't mean a great big cross that you have to drag around behind you. It, it could be as simple as a little cross that you put in your pocket or a cross that you wear around your neck or, or on a bracelet, but it needs to be a cross that you will notice at least once every day. If you need a little cross to carry in your pocket throughout this worship series and don't have one, reach out to me. Let me know. I'd be happy to get a little cross to you that you can carry with you um, for those five weeks of this worship series. Again, I encourage you as we head into this fall to stay connected to our church or to reconnect with our church. We will continue to find our way through this pandemic together. And we will be reopening in the coming weeks and months in, in ways that are safe for our church and for our community. We have a great community of faith. And so again, I invite you to stay connected as much as you can. God bless you all, and I hope that I might see you in person in the not-too-distant future.